Hi, I am Amit Lunkar. In this video, we discuss in detail about Sandmeier reaction. The Sandmeier reaction is very important when we are studying aromatic chemistry. In this video, we specially discuss the introductory part of Sandmeier reaction, mechanism of reaction, as well as importance and uses of Sandmeier reaction. Let's begin with the introduction of Sandmeier reaction. Sandmeier reaction is a type of substitution reaction that is widely used in the production of aryl halides from aryl diazonium salts. Copper salts like chloride, bromide or iodide ions are used as a catalyst in this reaction. Sandmeier reaction can be used to perform unique transformations on benzene. The transformations include hydroxylation, trifluoromethylation, cyanation, and halogenation. Sandmeier reaction is an example of a radical nucleophilic aromatic substitution. So here is the overall Sandmeier reaction. During the Sandmeier reaction, the amino group that is attached to aromatic ring is converted to diazonium salt that can be transformed into various functional group. Now here we discuss the reaction mechanism. The Sandmeier reaction follows a free radical mechanism. The reaction is actually a two-step process where the synthesis of aryl halides from primary aryl amines involves the formation of diazonium salts and the transformation of diazo intermediates into aryl halides uh, means that is displacement with a nucleophile. The nucleophile can be a halide ion, cyanide, water, etc. So now for the first step there is a formation of diazonium, uh, diazonium compound but before that there is a formation of nitrosonium ion. Sodium nitrite and acid reacts to form nitrous acid. It follows the two protonation steps where one equivalent of water is removed. This results in the generation of a nitrosonium ion that is nitrogen monoxide cation. So here is this form or there is a formation of this <coughs> nitrogen monoxide cation and further it will get as a electrophile when it react, reacted further with an aromatic or heterocyclic amine uh, that is for example aniline and finally the diazonium salt is formed. The reaction is carried out at temperatures ranging between 25 to 30 degrees centigrade. So now here is the aromatic amine that is here we have uh, taken the aniline and this form nitrosonium ion reacted and finally there is a formation of this benzene diazonium ion or diazonium salt there is a presence of chloride then it forms a diazonium salt. In, uh, the Sandmeier reaction mechanism commences with a transfer of a single electron from copper to the diazonium. This results in formation of a non-partitioning diazo radical as well as copper halide. A molecule of nitrogen gas is then released by the diazo radical to give aryl halide. Uh, this aryl halide which then reacts with copper halide to restore the catalyst copper. So here the electron again reacts with this halide to form a copper restore this catalyst and after this the final product is your aryl halide. So here is the formation of aryl halide. So here is the overall Sandmeier reaction like here we discuss the importance of Sandmeier reaction. The Sandmeier reaction can be used to generate substitution patterns that are sometimes not possible to achieve by direct substitution. In the reaction, a primary aryl amine is mainly diazotized to create an aryl diazonium salt 
which is further reacted with a halide ion to produce the desired aryl halide product. It follows an electron transfer mechanism including free radicals. Sandmeier reaction has wide synthetic applicability and is complementary to electrophilic aromatic substitution. Now here is the common uses of this Sandmeier reaction. It is used in hydroxylation to convert aryl amines to phenols leading to the formation of an aryl diazonium salt. Means firstly the diazonium salt get formed and with this hydroxylation then it gives the phenol. It used to create aryl compounds during the process of trifluoromethylation having unique chemical properties with a wide, wide variety of practical applications. Sandmeier reaction is used for the formation of benzonitriles through the process of cyanation and lastly it is used to create aryl halides. So all these are its uh, common uses of the Sandmeier reaction. Hope all of you getting this. Thank you. Happy learning.